Bro, I honestly don't know why I always record these videos at 1am. It's literally 1am right now. I don't know what I'm doing with my life, but yeah, I guess the grind never stops. Yo, what's up guys? So welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. And today I'm going to show you how you can reach 100, 150, maybe even 200 FPS on a low-end PC. Trust me, this is actually possible. If you might take a look right now here on my screen, you probably notice that something is different and that would be the resolution guys because I literally think I found the god res for low end PCs and yeah guys I'm just going to tell you right now straight up the resolution I'm talking about is 1024 times 768 I know this sounds extremely low but trust me guys this is actually really playable and I'm also going to show you a few settings here on Fortnite which you should change 100% to optimize your game the best way possible Afterwards we're also going to hop into some realistic 1v1s just to see how we can perform and yeah guys, now I'm just going to show you real quick how to apply stretch resolution and all. And all you guys need to do is go into your Windows search bar and type in presenter, app data, presenter and click on the first file which appears right now here. And once we're here in this new window, just click on app data here on this top bar. So we go like one back and then just click on local and type F on your keyboard until you find Fortnite game. Click on the saved config Windows client settings and here you get your game user settings. First of all, if you already applied something in your game user settings, uh, just make sure the attribute read only is unchecked, which you can do while going into the properties and then you see like here this new window and just make sure to uncheck read only, click apply, okay, and then open up your game user settings. And now you can see that this new window here has opened and all you guys need to do right now here is click on the edit, go into find and your resolution is probably still going to be on like native or something else then just like type in like 1920 or 1080. For me I already applied the stretch resolution so obviously I have to type in 1080, um, 1024 obviously. <laughs> And yeah guys, once you find your resolution, it should say probably resolution size X 1920 and resolution size Y 1080 because if you're like running native resolution, it should be like 1920 by 1080. And all you guys need to do right now is replace 1920 with 1024 for both of them. Also for the last user confirmed resolution size X, they also got to put in 1024. This is the new resolution I just want to give you here in this video. And for resolution size Y, you got to put in 768. And for last user confirmed resolution size Y, you're also going to put in 768. And once you applied it for both of them, just click on file and click on to save and close this window here. And once you're done with that, just open up again the properties of your game user settings and just make sure to put in the check on the attributes read only, click apply, press OK. And you successfully applied the new stretch resolution. And yeah guys, now I'm just going to quickly show you the best Fortnite settings for the least amount of input delay and maximum performance. All you guys need to do is go into your settings and go under the first category video here into display. And I wouldn't recommend you to change anything here at all because since we applied a stretch resolution, there is going to stand 1920 by 1080 but trust me it is stretched in the first place. Like this is just like a visual bug. And so I would say just next up like scroll down here until you see graphics. Um, this again also comes down to personal preferences like pretty much what I would recommend you to use Tritonope and Colorblind Strength on 5 because it gives you like the best competitive advantage. And yeah guys once we scroll down to graphics quality just try to copy all of these settings here one by one. Those are the best settings for maximum performance and the least amount of input delay. The only thing which I would recommend you to change probably if you're running a low end PC then probably put your viewing distance on something like a near or medium because it's gonna put less work on your PC, you know, you're just gonna get like more FPS. But since I do play competitive, I put it on 4 to get the highest competitive advantage here. Iron net textures on low, obviously meshes as well on low if you wanna have like mobile builds. But since I don't really like the visuals of mobile builds, I just put it here on high because yeah, it just comes down to personal preference. So if you wanna go for the maximum performance, just put it on low and you get mobile builds. Other than that, keep it on high. And yeah guys, under the advanced graphic settings, just try to copy all of them here one by one as well. I got my V-Sync turned off because my monitor already got G-Sync. So if your monitor has some sort of sync technology, um, it doesn't really matter if it's free sync or G-Sync, turn this off definitely. Show FPS just, yeah, obviously so you can see how much FPS you got. And the rendering mode on performance alpha mode for the maximum performance and least amount of input delay. So once we moved over to the game settings, all you guys need to do is scroll all the way down here until you find replays. And here you can see all the options, record replays, record large team replays and record creative mode replays. I would recommend you to turn all of these off because this is just gonna put like a huge workload on your PC and cost you some important FPS and once you've done that you're pretty much done you applied all the best Fortnite settings out there and we can move on. And you guys, as you can see, here we are right now in game. We get well over 350 FPS, which is really cool on this resolution. And yeah, we're just about to play some realistics here and see how we can perform. And I have to say, this is so weird already. Oh my god. Bro, I literally can't edit. Oh, 
Go. Bro. Ah, I don't have beds anymore. Lol. Okay, nice. You're dumb. Let's go. Bruh. Bruh. Homie's just so cringe. What am I seeing, guys? <laughs> Let's go, baby. We won. Can you please start fighting me? Like, I would kind of appreciate this. Not gonna lie there. Okay. I mean... Yeah, why would you... Okay, box like fish. Absolutely shit on. I'm not gonna lie there. Absolutely shit on. I can already see that the other guy is like chopping me out. Bro, just come down, please. <laughs> okay. Okay, these guys are different, definitely. Let's go, baby. We're chilling. <laughs> okay. Homie's a cranker as it seems, but he might not be the smartest, not gonna lie there. Okay guys, after using this stretch resolution now for a few hours, I can definitely say that it's a little bit weird in the first place, you know, because it's like a really weird stretch resolution. I don't know, like not many people actually play on this. And I have to say, yeah, it's just like weird in the first place, but I do believe everyone on a low-end PC would rather have like more FPS, less input delay, and all the benefits of a stretch resolution and just overall more enjoyable gaming experience. And therefore, they would probably take the few days off to actually like get used to this new stretch resolution. So I can definitely recommend it to you. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace.